see it everywhere during winter, people warming up their cars before driving off. But you may not know that in many places, leaving your car idling could lead to a hefty fine. Okay, I just gotta say straight off the bat, not only does, like, getting your car started during the cold, frozen winter, like, warm the inside of your car up because, you, you know, you have your heater on stuff like that not only does that help warm the car up so you're actually warm when you get into it it also warms up the it gets the oil warm you know, if you guys know what i'm talking about you guys know what i'm talking about like it gets the oil you know like going normal like you got to let your car warm up like, especially during the cold, frozen months. Otherwise, you know, you're screwed. So that is just f idiotic. That freaking police officers and stuff like that are ticketing people for leaving their own car running in their own driveway. It's not like they're speeding or anything like that. So what? what is, what is really the big deal? Honestly, did you have any idea that you could get a ticket for having your car running in your own driveway? I had no knowledge of it, and it seems like most people had no knowledge of it either. Thing to have to worry about, and you shouldn't have to worry about it being illegal because it's freaking stupid and it shouldn't be illegal because you're warming your car up so you can have that the engine warm. And stuff like that, so you can drive, drive the car. I mean, hello, police officers, are we thinking about what could happen if we don't let our cars warm up in the winter? Yep, Nick Taylor says he was warming up his car in the freezing cold outside Detroit when he was ticketed. The fine, $128, and the car was in his own driveway. All right, guys. Give a big round of applause to the Detroit Police Department for finding somebody for having their own car running on their own driveway, doing nothing wrong at all. One hundred twenty-eight, or er, yeah, one hundred and twenty-eight freaking dollars. A $128 fine just because the dude was sitting in his driveway warming up his vehicle. You were just trying to warm up your car and you got dinged with a ticket, man. Are you upset? Yeah, I was actually really upset. I was kind of astonished that I came out to, uh, you know, ticket on my car just for warming up my car. Taylor was so fed up, he posted the ticket on Facebook. Let's all take a moment to thank Officer Blank Keery for wasting the taxpayer's money and giving me a ticket for warming up my car in my own damn driveway. Ooh, Detroit PD, how are you going to respond to that? Oh, he got you on that. Police say issuing tickets for idling cars is meant to stop thieves. Um, the last time I recalled, cars, oh, maybe not all cars, but newer cars, maybe some 2010 model cars, come with this nice feature called Remote Start. Basically, what it is is... You grab your remote, the key fob for your car, and I recall that there's this thing called a lock button. You push it two times, and then you hold the start button down. I don't think cops have ever heard of that before in Detroit. Most of these idiots take off at a high rate of speed. You're putting the pedestrians and public at risk. This is purely a public safety issue. Idling is also a huge waste of gas. It's not necessary to let your car idle for long periods of time for two reasons. One, you get zero miles to the gallon, and two, it's not good for the environment. So motorists, take note. If you want to climb into a toasty car on a cold day, it'll make better sense if you just bundle up. 